the graphs that we use fall into two categories, and that's autographed versus allograft tendons. And the autographs are tendons that are taken from the patient's own body, usually the same knee or around the same knee that the surgery is being performed on, whereas allografts are taken from a donor as, or as other people have referred to them as cadavers. So with regard to the autographs, the three main types are the hamstring autograft, the patellar tendon autograft, and the quadriceps tendon autograft. The hamstring autograft is probably the most frequently used uh, graft for ACL reconstruction at most centers in the world. And we can take one or two tendons. Uh, we will uh, we'll take the semitendinosus tendon, which is one of the hamstring tendons most of the time. And it, if, it, if it is long enough and of large enough diameter, that's all we need to take. If not, then we also take the gracilis tendon, and those are both taken from the same area. So it's, it's quite easy to harvest both from the same incision at the same time. With regard to the patellar tendon, we take the central one-third, uh, a strip that's about 9 to 10 millimeters wide from the patellar tendon, along with a bone block or piece of bone from the patella and a bone block or a piece of bone from the tibia or shin bone. And the third is the quadriceps tendon allograft, which is a strip of tendon that we can take from just above the kneecap in the quadriceps tendon. And uh, with that uh, graft, we can actually take a larger graft than uh, any of the other grafts, uh, up to 11 millimeters in diameter. And we can take a bit of bone from the patella or the graft will actually be long enough so we don't actually need to use the bone block if we don't want to. And with the allograft, we use the same sort of tenons that we do for autograft, uh, 